All right, now that we've got these functions Max, let's use them for something. So first thing like I want... Like weekly dance party? Something like that, yeah. Um, all right, so first I'm going to clear the entire screen, and I'm going to move these functions over here. Now what I'd like to do is I would like to create a program that whenever you click somewhere, it makes the shape you want um, wherever you clicked, okay? So the first thing I want to do is I want to um, determine what the person selected. Did they want a square or a triangle or a circle? So um, I need to create three different sprites. And my first sprite is I'm going to paint a new sprite, and my new sprite is going to look like a circle. So if the person selects, or I'll just select square, I guess. If the person selects this one, then they want a square. Okay, So I'm going to make a little square. Then I'm going to do this really important step, which is I'm going to tell the program where the center of the square is. The program thinks the center of the square is there, but actually I'm going to move it to the center of the square. You have to do this every time. So I showed it where the center of the square is. This is my new that, sprite. Yeah, that's not the exact center. Well, that's close enough, right? Um, and then I'm going to move my square over here. And then when the user clicks on the square, I'm going to change a variable. So here's what I mean by that. Wait, Dad, what's that? Oh, it's just a bunch of shadows that are left over here. Um, I don't know why it does that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create something in my sprite, and I'm going to say control when I am clicked, and I'm going to create a variable. My variable is going to be shape, and it's going to be a variable for all sprites. Everyone's going to be able to see this variable. When I am clicked, set shape to square. Okay, that's all it's going to do. When this thing is clicked, it's going to sh uh, set the shape to square. Does that make sense? All right, good. So now we're going to create another variable. And this one is going to be a circle. Hello. Okay, here we go. Circle. And it should be about the same size as the square. Oh, and I need to center it again, just like last time. That's pretty close, right? That's pretty good. All right, and when I am clicked, all right, so I'm going to make a control here. When I am clicked, variables set shape to, what should we set it to this time? Circle. I agree, to circle. Okay, and then our last one is going to be a triangle. So we're going to create a new one. And unfortunately, there's no handy dandy circle here. So I've got to draw, I mean, no handy dandy triangle. So I've got to draw a triangle. It's going to be a little lame too. Oh, I, got, I don't like that one. Because it needs to be a, um, okay, it needs to be a better looking triangle than that. So you're going to see what a horrible artist I am, Maxi. All right, here we go. Dad, you don't have to say you're a horrible artist. You're people, already a horrible people, artist, people and people just, know it. That's right. People will just notice that my triangle is really lame. <laughs> All right, anyway. It looks like one of those witches hats. It does, doesn't it? It's not exactly the best triangle in the world. All right, here we go. So if they click on this thing, they want a triangle. So... Wait, you mean the witches hat? Yes, if they click on the witches hat, they're looking for a triangle. All right, so here we go. And control when I am clicked, variables, set shape to triangle. Triangle zero. Well, just triangle. Okay. And we've now got this very clear thing. It's There's a variable that's going to change, and it's going to either be triangle, circle, or square.